Hey guys, new review of the Incredible Hulk video game tie-in to the MCU film went up last night, so definitely check that out. I'm here to ask you about live streaming. The Steam Group Sentinels of the Store is hosting a two-week charity drive where members are going to live stream to collect donations for Able Gamers, a charity centered on making gaming more accessible to disabled people. And I figure it's high time I actually contributed something to Sentinels of the Store, so I'm aiming to do a few live streams during this period to help out. The charity drive is going from April 29th to May 13th, and I'm probably going to aim to live stream on Saturday or Sunday afternoons or Monday evenings. Also, expect to see an off-the-cuff live stream between now and then just to make sure my shit is working before the streams come up. I just got a Super Nintendo Classic, so you might just see me dicking around with that for a little while. Anyway, I need to pick out some games to stream. Good games, bad games, games I like, games I never played before. I'm just looking for some community feedback to figure out what to stream, and I thought I'd throw out a few suggestions. I'm focusing on games on consoles, just because I'm more confident that I'll be able to get a stream of console games working right. A few good games I have that might be good to stream, starting with the Resident Evil 2 remake. I've played through Leon's campaign, but I haven't played through Claire's yet. I could try to power through her campaign on camera, you'll hear me mutter oh fuck to myself over and over every time a zombie appears. Some people have suggested I stream some Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I've beaten the story mode and I could just do some multiplayer matches. I might save that for some off-the-cuff streaming after this charity thing is done. I friggin' love Chopper Attack, but it only takes like an hour and a half to beat, it would only do part of a live stream. I think it'd be really fun to livestream Sonic Adventure DX and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. They're fun games, at least to me, but the cutscenes have that so bad it's good quality that you can easily mock. Though, if I livestream Sonic Adventure 2, I can pretty much promise I will take breaks from the campaign to fawn over my chow. Ooh, is that going to be cammy? Someone suggested a game from one of my favorite series, so I could play any Metroid game but the original and that thing which shall not be named. I just worry they're a little slow to make a good live stream because I scan everything when I play Metroid Prime. Transformers Devastation was good, I don't need an excuse to play me some Doom- Oh, I haven't played through the Return to Arkham version of Arkham City yet. Man, thinking over games to suggest made me realize I need to do a video on Tron Evolution Battle Grid sometime. That game rocks! The No More Heroes games are fantastic, I haven't played through the second in ages. The first one kinda has a lot of downtime though. I don't know, here's a quick glimpse through my game cabinet shelves, just let me know if something looks good to ya. Maybe I should fire up a game that I haven't played before, jump blind into the unknown and get my first impressions. One game I've been meaning to play is The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. I think it's an FMV game where you try and solve a crime by talking to a deceased doctor's psychiatric patients. I just haven't had the time to dig into it and it takes up half the Switch's memory when it's installed. I've got a few games that I started playing and then quit to work on more reviews, Resident Evil 4 and Prince of Persia The Sands of Time being the chief examples. I also got Beyond Good and Evil. No idea what it's about, I just know that it's a GameCube classic, then I haven't started it yet. Then there are the games on my two-review shelf that I haven't gotten to yet. Terminator The Redemption, Reign of Fire, Mission Impossible, Operation Surma, Winback. Enter the Matrix, I want to wait until I've seen the movies. Oh, there's another Titanic mystery game. Sherlock Holmes The Devil's Daughter, I've heard that's kind of decent, it's from a long-running series. Scooby-Doo Classic Creep Capers, I played the first level of that and it sucks. Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero, that'll be fun to torture myself through. Oh, Titanfall 2, the mythical good EA video game. And there's PS4 shovelware title The Unknown City Horror Begins Now, aka Life of Black Tiger is no longer the worst game on the PS4. But I know the real reason people watch this channel, the videos that get the most views, all the terrible games that I subject myself to for your entertainment. I've still got Superman 64, Catwoman, Batman Dark Tomorrow is always great for unintentional comedy. I swear to crap I am nixing Carmageddon 64 because that is self-flagellation. Still have that copy of Metroid Other M? Not sure why. Really just throw a rock at my list of reviews that I've already done and aim for something where the chief complaint wasn't boredom. It'll knock down a significant number of the options. Plus, I'ma be honest, the Rise of Skywalker trailer has kinda got me on a Star Wars kick. Star Wars Battle for Naboo was a good one people may not be as familiar with. Star Wars The Clone Wars was good. I'm still playing through Star Wars Jedi Starfighter and it's good, but the plot is a total mess. Don't know how good that'll be to talk about. I don't know. I'm just pitching a few ideas to you. I'll post another update video when I've chosen the games to stream and the dates that I'll be streaming, so until then, let me know in the comments what kind of games you'd like to see. And who knows? Maybe I won't ignore all of them and just do my own thing. So yeah, stay tuned for that.